I think people don't normally associate science and costume design. It seems like they're two very different things. But to me, um, it's all about invention. Science is a place where you're continuously pushing the boundaries. And I feel like that that's the way I approach costume design. So it's really about the method, and it's also about the materials. Every time we have an advancement in technology, I'm constantly looking to see how that applies to soft fabrics and the softness of things. My name is Andrea Lauer, and I'm an artist, designer, and inventor, and I'm here in my studio in Gowanus, Brooklyn. I've always been interested in the way we move amongst space and the traces we leave. And I like this idea of the body as a trace. And how could we leave an imprint, or how could we fill architecture in a new way that emerges from our actual cloth? I was a director's fellow with the MIT Media Lab from 2017 to 2019. And during this, I met Jing Lu, and she was telling me about how she was going to go on this Blue Origin flight. What I wanted to do as a designer was to really look at the history of flight and to really take a look at how we got here. How is it possible that we're going to go on a zero gravity flight? And I was looking at old flight suits and became really intrigued by sort of the jodhpur shape and the chevrons that are on the zippers. And so I took this historical pattern and this historical idea and blended it with modern fabrics and came up with my own version of what I thought a futuristic flight suit might look like with a nod to the past. We use 3M fabric, and the thing that was really compelling about using the 3M fabric is of course that when you take a flash, the background disappears. So it was sort of honoring this idea that you're floating in space. My creative process is really messy. I spend maybe 75% of the time doing things that I didn't expect to do. And that means that most things that I do actually don't always come out correctly, but they often lead to new material applications or new ways of doing things or thinking about things with a new use that I wouldn't have normally done. I combine costume design and augmented reality, but for me, it's more like an art piece. It's not really costume design, it's not really fashion design. For me, it's really focusing on the body as a canvas. It was sort of a, a fantasy idea. I used to joke around, I called it the Cinderella effect because when I was younger, I was always intrigued with all the birds that flew around Cinderella when she was trying to pick up all the lentils. <laughs> and what I wanted to do with my first piece was to create an actual Cinderella effect, which I did with magpies flying around the Boots constellation, which is on my blouse, and sort of disrupt um, the normal experience of just wearing the universe, you actually emerge into it. Sometimes technology can actually replace man-made goods, but for me, it's about the balance of the two. It's about how we always come back to analog, even though we explore the digital. And all the digital can be far more precise. It's the imprecision that I'm actually after as a designer. So it's fun to go back and forth between the two to really develop something that is unique and one of a kind. My projects at Pioneer Works are totally wacky. You know, I love to talk about the story of how it even started, which is Jan 11 and I on a couch at 33 Flatbush, an old studio we used to have and share together. And I remember when she first told me about Pioneer Works and about scientific controversies and her sort of ideas around this, I thought, wouldn't that be amazing if we made a patch just like you went up into space, like NASA does, like the Apollo patch. I'm always taking an abstraction of the idea, whether it's animal consciousness or artificial intelligence, and trying to say, like, what does it mean to me? Who is the speaker? What does that speaker remind me of? And it's a little bit of a free form exercise and drawing and just trying to come up with shapes and patterns that resonate. And that's how I'll end up kind of coming up with the final version. And then we had this idea of doing field scarves for all the different lectures that have come through. And I wanted to create a sort of an homage to the American bandana of going out into the field with the person and actually feel like you're on the research trip with them. 
And so we started a signature series where each one of the bandanas has taken a form of a bandana, but incorporated the work of the scientists or the artists that were honoring and give it their signature. So whether it's their literal signature or it's something that they're known for to make that the new icon on the Pioneer Works bandana. I think during the pandemic, whether I like it or not, there's a lot more space to be alone and to reflect upon what I put out into the world and whether that has merit. What does a fashion designer mean in virtual times? Um, how do we still connect? How do I incorporate art into that, and technology into that, to recreate the way we perceive fashion and we experience it? And that's what I'm really setting out to do right now, both as a designer, as an artist, which essentially is about reinventing a form.